It is also true that the space domain is becoming more challenging. And, you know, those challenges affect NASA, just like they affect commercial operators, just like they affect NOAA, for example. Um, and that's really where um, we rely on the Space Force to be to be supportive of what we're trying trying to achieve. Um, you know, we, we think about, you know, proliferating technologies um, like jamming and spoofing and, you know, using, you know, laser energy for dazzling um, and, you know, hacking and these kind of things that that affect pretty much everybody in the space domain. Um, the, the question is, um, what, you know, how do we attribute those things that are happening in space? I think getting to that attribution piece is is critically important, and it's very difficult when it comes to space. And of course, one of the things that you know we're, we we see in the future is, you know, when when something strange happens to NASA, we're going to be sharing that data. We're going to be sharing it quickly. Um, and of course, that of course has has been true in low Earth orbit and all the way out to geostationary orbit. Um, but you know, the next big thing is you know cis lunar space and and the even the lunar surface um we 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 want to see you know behaviors um improved in space and so that's really a i think from a from a national security perspective there's there's two ways of doing it one is you know no kidding hard power which is what the space force is all about and then two is soft power so i'll, I'll give you i'll give you an example um you know, the Artemis program is is the envy of so many nations around the world. We had a, a meeting the other day. We invited countries to come. Who wants to be with us when we go to the moon? We had 26 nations show up. Some of them didn't even have space agencies, but they want to be with us on the moon. And, and we want them to be with us on the moon. This is a tremendously valuable diplomatic tool. And so so we we decided when, when we saw the level of interest and enthusiasm, that we could use this as as a tool to compel behaviors in space that would be appropriate for a spacefaring nation, um, and and a lot of those behaviors are already enshrined in the Outer Space Treaty, for example, um, and they're they're agreed to with conventions like the Liability Convention and the Registration Convention, um, and 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 but not all not all international players are as good at adhering to those agreements. Um, as 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 we would like them to be. So look, if you want to be with us when we go to the moon, if you want to be with us on the Artemis program, we want you with us. But we also need you to agree to basic norms of behavior. <laughs> and those basic norms of behavior are ultimately what will preserve space for humanity to continue doing the exploration and development and the building of commercial capabilities.